Hey guys, Tucker here for another 118 scale car review. This is the uh, Lamborghini uh, Gallardo Superleggera by Maisto. And this is a first generation Superleggera, you can tell by this whole front end um, and even the rear. Um, the second generation Gallardo has shorter taillights that go to about there and uh, a little more aggressive of a front splitter and intake area. Um, the side of the Gallardo uh, for both first and second generation is pretty much the same and then you get to the back where it's a solid piece of metal all the way across, solid grill all the way across and smaller headlights that don't go onto the top like these ones do. But this is a first generation Gallardo um, so it's got this rear end with the split grill um, and the larger tail lights and the larger headlights and the less aggressive front end. Now, I don't usually like Lamborghini Gallardos. It's never been one of my favorite uh, cars as a model or as a um, as a uh, real car. I've just I've never liked the Gallardo, uh, which is kind of funny because a lot of people really like the Lamborghini Gallardo. Um, but this one, I was never going to get one of these. Um, I did find it at Costco, as I'm finding all of these mace toes. Um, they've had cases out since August, and it, which is super early. They usually get them around December. Um, and they're just super cheap 118 model cars. So I've been getting a whole bunch of them. Um, I think this is the third one I've got. So this, uh, really what sold this one to me was seeing it in person. I've I had seen plenty of pictures of this exact model and it just looks so much better in person than it does uh, on video or on um, on in pictures. So honestly if you really really want to see this car and if you're not a Lamborghini Gallardo fan I would uh, I would recommend seeing it in person and you may be convinced to get it. Um, I found it these are actually really hard to find as far as finding them in those cases. I don't know if every case is the same, but I've this is the only one I've ever seen. Um, I dug through all of the front side of the cases, then I went back behind the shelves and dug through all of those and found it in the very back bottom corner. It was the only one um, in the whole case. So I really don't know uh, if they're like maybe a chase piece or something. They're really hard to find. Um, so, the, this is probably one of the highest quality mace tow uh, cars I've ever seen. Um, most mace tow cars are kind of loosely put together. Um, they'll leave out small details. Um, they'll kind of change things up to make it a little bit easier to make. This one has a ton of detail. I mean, ridiculous amounts. Like, I've seen uh, higher end... Uh, model car companies with less detail than this car um, but then again it is a mace tow and there are little bits and pieces that um, that you do find um, in it uh, as far as material goes that's probably the most mace tow thing about this car um, we'll start with the back because I think the back looks a lot better this is my favorite view of this uh, Lamborghini um, the front it, it kind of looks really smiley and happy, and I'm not a fan of the giant headlights, because if you look like that, they're pretty big. Um, I've never been a fan of the first generation Gallardo. The second generation uh, grew onto me, and the third generation is pretty cool, but um, the uh, first generation Gallardo I've never been a fan of. Um, I've never th thought it was a very good looking car, but this one, uh, the Super Legera just looks really cool. Um, let's see. So we were starting with the back. The tail lights are done very well. They have this kind of shininess to them. They show up a lot lighter on my camera than they do uh, in real life. Um, you can see where they're attached to the um, to the car on the inside, but really, it it doesn't matter that much. It's not that noticeable from afar. Um, the Lamborghini logo is done very well. You can see this painted on taillight up here um, on the rear wing. We'll get to that whole piece in a second. That's probably one of my favorite parts of this 
car. Um, let's see, the grills, your typical Maisto grill, this is, see this is where it goes back to being a Maisto, is all of these grills are um, not perforated, they're just your basic Maisto grill. Um, and these pieces aren't separate pieces. On a lot of higher end uh, exotic car companies, um, as far as models go, these little pieces where it's just indented are actual separate pieces, but it's a $14 um, mace toe, so I'm not really expecting too much from it. Um, exhaust is done pretty well. It is a separate piece, which makes me happy. Um, let's see, this rear diffuser, this whole rear diffuser on the bottom is actually a metal, which is really nice. It's a, it's a indented metal. You can feel there's texture on the carbon fiber. Um, it's very nice. I really like it. Uh, and then you've got your other exhaust and a license plate. The license plate actually doesn't look too bad on this car. It's just not like up here or in this piece. It's very, it's kind of, uh, it's not kind of, uh, popping out at you, which is really nice. I've never been a fan of, uh, license plates on model cars. Um, but the rear diffuser, I think, just looks really awesome. I mean, if you look at the car like that, it's just so aggressive and really cool. Um, so, there are these uh, little vents. They go all the way through, which is really, really cool and nice. Um, and then, my favorite part of the whole car. The engine in this car looks awesome, but the way it's presented is probably the best part. Oh, and notice I'm holding this up. These rear view mirrors are rubber. They bend around and stuff, so you won't break them, but if you hold them down or bend them in a certain way, they'll probably stay that way, which is quite annoying. Um, I'll show you a little bit later. Mine aren't exactly the same as far as how they're bent and how they're presented. Um, and I haven't messed with those, I promise. Um, these, uh, This carbon fiber is all done very well, and it goes throughout this whole back cover piece. Uh, they put the plastic in here and you really can't see how it's attached which is great. Um, makes it look a lot more realistic and it's so easy to open. You just use the spoiler. Um, so it it really it doesn't take any risk of damaging the car to open it. Um, carbon fiber is not continued on the bottom. It's a lot smoother on the bottom. Uh, all along the top it's all um, textured carbon fiber but um, on the bottom it's just flat um, you can see that uh, on the rear wing that piece looks very that uh, tail light looks very good uh, there is a little paint chip there and there's a little bit of red that got onto here but really when it's closed not noticeable at all um, yeah there's just so much detail put into the spoiler I mean all of the bends and even this little lip here like just like a real one I have seen two first generation Superleggeros in real life um, if I have any pictures I'll put them up at the moment um, let's see uh, continuing with the back of the engine the engine just looks so good on this car there's so much depth to it and that's something that Maestos always done really well was engines um, if you look in a little more detail there's a bunch of uh, separate pieces. It's all molded together very well. Nothing is loose and nothing is uh, being blocked off or too tight. It all looks super, super, super good. Um, classic Lamborghini V10. They've got all this painted on. It doesn't pop out, but that's fine. I mean, you're going to be looking at it through this glass most of the time anyway. Um, yeah, like this. Um, you're going to be looking through the glass at it, so it really doesn't matter if it pops out or not. It just, it looks so good. Um, that's what I'm happiest with uh, about this car. Um, you've got these little vents. Uh, these ones actually do go through, and they are, they have just that kind of grill, that Maisto grill stuff uh, on the inside. Uh, something they didn't put a lot of detail into is the gas cap. It's not even indented that much, uh, so that's a little disappointing. Um, let's see what else. This rear window is done very well. It's, uh, put in the right place, and it's, uh, they didn't 
like take out the whole window they just took out that this little bit which is pretty nice um this is uh it, there's no gaps there's nothing it's it looks very very good um super legera stripe on the side always looks very good um that's always a part that makes the guy just look a little bit better i think uh and then the super legera there's really no flaw in it there there's usually on a lot of cheaper car companies there's a big flaw in this um super legera badge but really it looks very good there's no uh there's no more gaps in the black paint or any black paint that's spilled over or anything like that it just looks very good um this these side skirts are metal which is really nice they've done the carbon fiber with the texture as well um the wheels i'm actually are another piece that i'm very happy with there's a ton of detail um i mean look at these are uh i don't know how many spokes that is you can probably count i'm not going to right now um, Lamborghini look, logo looks very good. Uh, brakes don't move through the calipers, but this is an older Lamborghini uh, that has been in the lineup a little bit longer, and they've only just recently started doing that, so I don't think they incorporate it. They just keep building it the way that they had it. Um, doors open just a little bit, kind of like your typical Lamborghini doors. Um, Although a lot of people think typical Lamborghini doors go up, actually most of their cars, they just go right out. Only the higher end stuff like Aventadors, Murcielagos, Countach's, Diablos, other really high end stuff like that. Um, those are the ones that go up, but these ones, uh, these ones just go out. Um, so I'm going to actually pick this up so, so you can look at this. Um, there's the Gallardo logo. It is just a sticker. Um, but they've done some carbon fiber behind it just to make it look pretty realistic. And as far as stickers go, done very well. The inside, you've got all of this carbon fiber that's continued on the interior, which is very, very, very nice. You can see it on the floor, on the center console, and it's all metal. Um, bucket seats are done pretty well. Just your basic plastic bucket seats with a rubber um, seat belt. But I do like that all of those little pieces, uh, all the little clips and stuff are, um, in fact, painted. Uh, the center console is very detailed. has the Lamborghini logo up there. This, I think it looks really, really good. Um, it's got all the buttons painted except for these center ones. Um, but those are kind of black in real life, so it's fine. Uh, E-brake, all that stuff. And... The um, carbon fiber is just done so well. I'm just so happy about it. Um, I'll flip the car around so you can take a look at the driver's side. Um, let's see. Dials done pretty well. It's got carbon fiber behind them. Carbon fiber just everywhere, which is awesome. Uh, pedals, not carbon fiber, but are separate pieces. You've got your floor mat, your uh, well-painted steering wheel, your basic first-generation Gallardo uh, steering wheel. They did change it for the second generation just a little bit, not very much. Um, let's see, your paddle shifters, your indicators and windshield wipers and all that stuff. Um, and that inside, look from this side. Bucket seats are exactly the same, but the interior is just done so well. And the doors as well. Uh, everything's well fitted together, which I'm really happy with on this car. Um, this side's exactly the same as the other. Um, I always forget to show these on the other side when I'm looking at the side, but it's got your indicators here and here. Um, right there. Uh, so yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, the windows are extremely clear there's no scratches or anything um, and you've got your windshield wipers they don't move or anything I wouldn't try to move them because they're kind of connected um, and they they're not they're all kind of molded together they're, they don't move at all um, these there is a little bit of texture on the back to make it look kind of like carbon fiber but it's not very much it's not as much as the other carbon fiber and these are rubber which makes me a little bit annoyed 
Um, if you look at mine, this one's a little bit lower than this one is, um, which annoys me. You kind of have to hold it up for them to be equal, and uh, them having them just barely off that annoys me a little bit. Uh, you can decide if that's a problem with yours if you end up getting one. Um, and I don't really know, it's not really something you can fix because it's rubber and you can't really bend it the other way because um, it doesn't want to. Uh, the Lamborghini logo on the front looks pretty good as it comes into focus here. Um, I found that Maze always does really good emblems and logos. Uh, front headlights, kind of your basic cheesy uh, headlights, although there's a ton of detail and they look really good. Um, they're just, they just look super plasticky. They never really make them look like metal. Um, your basic grills, the front end of this car is quite boring, um, in my opinion. Uh, but you can judge that by yourself. Although the trunk in this car, which I'm going to hold everything else closed, the trunk in this car is very boring. <laughs> There's really, there, some trunks have some extra detail or whatever. I've never seen a guy out of trunk, um, not in real life, not even really in pictures. So, I don't know if it's any more detailed than that, but there's really nothing. It looks very plain. It looks more plain than a trunk really should be, um, which is a little bit annoying. But overall, the car is not bad. And that's that's a, saying a lot coming from a guy that really doesn't like the Lamborghini Gallardo. Um, the Gallardo was the competitor from Lamborghini for my dream car, the 458, and the 430, which was the 458's predecessor. I was kind of in that range of time. But this was this one, specifically the first generation Gallardo, was the competitor for the 430. Um, and then the second generation Gallardo, Gallardo was kind of introduced as uh, the 458 came around. But overall, the car does not look bad. It's very well put together. Um, you can look at the bottom. You've got all of your engine pieces and stuff like that. Wheels turning. All of the These wheels turn extremely well. It rolls around very well. Uh, and they stay turned when... If you want to display it like this, you can because it uh, they stay turned, and of course they turn with the steering wheel, and uh, you really have no problems there. Um, but overall, it looks looks absolutely incredible uh, for a mace tow. This is a lot of detail. Oh, it's got rear suspension and a little bit of front suspension, but the front suspension isn't anywhere near as much, so I wouldn't play around with it a ton. But the rear suspension is pretty legit. Um, of course, it's your basic sticky suspension. There's really never uh, any smooth suspension on model cars. Um, but yeah, I think this is probably one of the best models that Maestro has ever made that I've ever seen. Um, of course, I don't have any of their other Lamborghinis uh, as other than the Huracan and the uh, first generation Murcielago. I haven't looked at the sec second generation Murcielago, uh, which I really want to get my hands on. Um, once I sell my first generation uh, Merge Hilago. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Go check out my other videos. Subscribe to my other two channels. Um, Tucker Fellows and TF Supercar Films. And I'll have links to those in the description. And thanks for watching. Till next time.